a tutorial video on Bitsy. In this video I'm going to cover scripting dialogue, an advanced technique of using variables to store, change, and then say different dialogue elements and text within a game. Let's look at an example to start. So this example, the, di the title is scripting dialogue. Interacting with this sprite here on the left, it says, I'm secretly human. If I interact a second time, it says, just kidding. If I interact with this one, it says, I'm also a cat. If I interact a second time, it says the same thing. For this third sprite, interaction says, I'm a cat, and it says, you talk to cat too. It says, am I really a cat? You talk to cat too. And the third time, the same text as the second. So stopping this game, let's look at what's going on here. I'm going to pull up paint so we can go through different sprites as well as dialogue so we can look at what's really going on here. So to start, let's look at Sprite A. Sprite A over in the dialogue window has a couple of different things going on. That was actually the last cat sprite we talked to is cat as Sprite A, Cat 1. Let me open inventory so we can also see that in action. Starting over here on the left hand side with the variables within inventory window, we see Cat 1 set to I'm a cat. If we scroll a bit, we can see it. Cat 2 set to I'm also a cat. Cat 3 set to I'm secretly human. As well as three additional variables A set to the value 0, B set to the value 0, and C set to the value 0 to start. Well, as we can see here in the dialog window for Sprite A, we see this first dialog block and we see something interesting, something in brackets we did not see when we interacted with it. This is a way of scripting within a dialog block within Bitsy. We can have Bitsy say different things by using the keyword say followed by the name of a variable. So in this case, within braces here say the value of the variable cat1, which is what we saw. I'm a cat. Right underneath that we see an additional thing. So as well as saying different dialog and different text, we can also assign different values to variables within dialog blocks. So here, the first, we have it say some text. Then we have it change the value of a variable. In this case, the variable a change to the value 1. And then we have it changing the value of the variable cat1 to the new changed value, am I really a cat, as a string. Finally, we see within this section, we see within this a conditional section right here within the dialog of sprite A with the conditional when the variable B is equal to 1, say you talk to cat2. And we can see that if we come over to the paint window and rotate through the sprites. That's what sprite A we're currently looking at. Looking at sprite B, we see a similar thing. Say the value of the variable cat2, as well as change the value of the variable B to 1. Coming over to sprite C, we see a similar thing that we saw in sprite A. Say the value of the variable cat3, change the value of the variable C to 1, and finally change the value of the variable cat3 to the string just kidding. So within this using uh, braces and the say keyword and the assignment operator within JavaScript and Bitsy here, we can script different dialogue elements and have the dialogue actually do different things instead of merely saying different things and showing different texts. And this allows us some freedom to script different things. As we saw here, using the conditional section within the dialog of Sprite A. When we first initially interacted with Sprite A, we saw the value, I'm a cat. Then A was changed to one, and then the value of the variable cat one was changed to the string, am I really a cat? which we saw upon a second interaction. So it was changed from the first to the second and then we saw it in the second. Finally, the conditional was checked and because we had already talked to cat2, during which the value, the value of the variable b was changed to one, we saw that result as well.
Now coming back to and replaying the demo, we can actually see all these changes in real time. Leaving the inventory window open, we can see the changes in the variables happen as we interact with different things. I'm now going to close the dialog window and close the paint window so we can see merely the room window when we're about to play this demo and then the changes happen in the variables in the inventory window. So now replaying this, we see the title scripting dialog interacting with this first left hand sprite. We see as soon as the text is displayed it was changed. The value of the variable cat3 was changed to just kidding which happened during the dialog section and dialog block of that interaction with that sprite. Notice as well C was changed to 1. Moving over interacting with a second sprite, we see B was now changed to the value 1 during that interaction in which we now scripted this change. Finally interacting with the third, we see the change to the value of the variable cat1 as well as the change to the value of the variable a. Both were now changed during the scripting that is now part of that dialog response. We also see the results of the conditional. I am a cat was the first initial value of cat1 variable and then the conditional produce the additional text you talk to cat2 because that conditional then became true which we can see by reopening the dialog and seeing that B in fact was equal to 1 and which we saw in real time when it changed. So this allows us to again using braces within different dialog sections within the dialog blocks of sprites as well as items which are not shown in this example here to script different reactions. We can change the values of variables. We can also have Bitsy say different things by, have, by using the keyword say followed by a space followed by the name of the variable we want to show the value of. So we could use this to show the variables of strings values as I'm showing here the am I really a cat I'm also a cat just kidding as well as the values of numbers as well. This allows us to script different responses and actually make the interactions between uh, non-player characters in this case of sprites as well as items a lot more interactive as well as more unique. They don't, they don't just nearly need to say something or use the dialogue list or conditional responses. Values can actually be changed and substituted within their responses to intermix a scripting element in the dialogue. So again, we can change the dialogue within, or change the reaction to different uh, interactions with sprites as well as items by using the dialogue window and using braces here to use the keyword say as well as the assignment operator, the equal sign here, to change the values or have it say different things. This allows us to add additional layers of scripting using variables as well as we can add them using the inventory window to change to change different things and have the NPCs have some knowledge about their world. In this case when we talked to the last cat in this example here it was aware of we had interacted with the other cats because we had added scripting elements in that second interaction that changed values that then show up to because they tested for the conditional in the last interaction. This is a fairly complex and advanced option within Bitsy intermixing not only text within the dialog but variable values as well as an additional layer of scripting within all of this again using the keyword say or the assignment operator within this current version of Bitsy. This allows us a wide array of different options when interacting with different things within Bitsy. Again using not only the text that is the default but the default functionality of dialog lists and conditionals as well as if we want to intermix text effects with the possibility now of using the value of variables to not only test different things within conditionals but have Bitsy say, using the keyword say, different responses for different things based on what has already been seen. This allows us again a large functionality although complex and uh, somewhat, easy, somewhat harder to test but again allows us a lot more functionality within the scripting of dialogue within Bitsy itself. Thanks for watching.